Hello everyone. Uh, this time around, we're back to an old uh, an old game that we were uh, doing about, well, last year. And it's Ostriv, as you can clearly see from the screen. And this here uh, is going to be uh, a new game that we're uh, running on Alpha 4, which released just recently, which has quite a few updates. And it's going to change how the, uh, how the game goes, I'm sure. So, uh, I guess uh, the thing to do is to, well, start a game. Now, we've got a number of uh, maps. Uh, apparently, we've got map 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Has spruces. Or pines. Uh, either one. Okay. Well... Uh, we could go with map four, uh, which has a fairly big open space in the middle with not so much forest. And we got the river thing going on. And we can go with map six, uh, similar. Map nine has a lot of forest all over the place. And uh, the river looks like it'd be slightly more challenging. Uh, map eight has a lot of water. Uh, map 7 just has the uh, river ticking around, fair bit of buildable area, lots of forest. Um, map 6, I think, is the one we had last time. Uh, I'm going to go with map 9. Now we're going to pause the game right away. Um, just uh, so that uh, time doesn't progress while we survey the map. Now... Uh, this here looks like it's probably a good spot for the initial settlement. Uh, this could be as well. Um, where's the map edge? Uh, there it is. Map edge is here. Okay. And where's the map edge over this way? Way over there. You know what? I think I'm going to settle here. Uh, put the camp over here. Ish, I think. We need, we need to get to the shore for uh, the thatch production, which I think over here should work, right? Um, yeah, that's about the only place over there that works. Um, yeah, so if I put that there, if I put the camp over here, and I can put the forestry over here. Yeah, okay, let's, um, inaccessible. What? Why is it inaccessible? We don't have a bridge, that's why. Uh, so we can't start on the island. We could start in this great big open space here which well we got the edge of the map there yeah this and the edge of the map is where i can't see it it's probably obvious to you guys there it is um right uh why is it probably obvious to you guys and i can't see it because i'm 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 uh colorblind okay so well, not completely colorblind, but uh, red on uh, green doesn't show up very well. Okay, well we've got the uh, we got what we need for thatch over here. I could put the camp in here. Could launch the forestry over here. Yeah. Okay. If we put the camp, See, the camp is going to end up being removed completely, and uh, it's kind of a temporary thing. And I want to be able to put the houses in a nice layout. So, yeah, if I put the camp here, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Okay, now, whoops, that's way faster than I expected it to be. Okay, now... Uh, we need to build a forestry, right? And you always have to build a forestry first. 
If you don't, your game fails. Um, I think now we're right at the edge of the map here, and I kind of like that idea. If we build against the edge of the map, I'm going to put the forestry right um, here. No. Okay, come on. Turn it the way you want it. Okay, like that. Bam. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put the forestry there. And then the first thing we have to build is houses. Now let's look here at our, uh, we have 4,000 thatch, right? And 1,000, uh, or and 1,600 nails. This uh, needs 174 nails. So we're, we're okay there. Now, if we go in here, uh, village house, this one, this one doesn't have, th this one, whoops. This one has a, uh, a, uh, a yard uh, where the uh, uh, residents can uh, grow food and stuff. That's a new thing. And these, this one doesn't have the yard. They cost the same ish. Now we need nine houses. Nine times 400 for thatch is 3,600. So theoretically, we've got enough thatch, right? Um, now, what do we have here? Does it say. Uh, so the, the change is here. So uh, we have if a house has a garden, its owners can use it to grow food uh, for sale or personal consumption. Uh, so granaries and trading posts. Uh, land tax is calculated on land area, excluding the house. Um, okay. Right. Okay. Now, apparently there's variation. Now, do I want to start with houses with a garden? Um, yes. Yes, I think I do. Okay, now I'm going to put them right up against the border here. So let's zoom in a bit so I can see what's doing here. And we're going to... We're going to put one... Okay, well, what are our options here? Rotate building, customize building, F1. Oh! Okay, so we can do this, uh, disable snapping until we get over here, and then, yeah, so I can make sure I get the sizing right, okay, two, wait. Oh, that's the entrance. Nice. Three. Okay. I kind of like that. Okay, so we'll get four. Five, right? Six. Okay, so that's six houses up there, right? Then we can turn it uh, 180. Uh, okay, and we'll put one there. Oops. Uh, put one here and here bam okay that's nine okay now uh, we're going to need a thatcher real quick um, 
So that's under production and the Thatcher is under uh, Thatchery, right? Uh, here. So we're going to need this, say, down here. Bam, right? And we're going to need to build a smithy uh, right early on as well. Uh, where is it? Smithy. And this can go in here right over by the forestry. Now I'm going to develop most like the, the town area over here. So now what we can do is, uh, well, we can get some things rolling here. Moving on. We have started the clock. Um, what we should do is speed up the clock so some things can and, oh, uh, there's one more thing that uh, we need to build, and that is a clay pit, which um, which we're going to put over here as well. Um, bam. Okay. Now, clay pits are permanent. You can't remove them. So, uh, But they also build instantly, so, so there's that, right? Okay, so the forestry is going up. Just about done. There we go. Uh, we're going to add a couple foresters there. Let's add... Let's add three of them. Uh, they'll uh, harvest a bunch of trees for us. Um... Now, I noticed that uh, this version has a little bit more guidance that uh, that comes up with, uh, uh, you know, what's going on. So we need to build houses for the families before winter. That's the reason I paused the game while I was laying this out. So we didn't burn any time that uh, could be uh, used for other things. 420, 390, 450... 420, 420, 390. Okay, I think we'll need to move the thatchery up a little bit. Uh, let's move it up to about here. Um, yeah. Uh, that will uh, that will improve the uh, uh, the uh, speed of of things there, right? Um, yeah, so that I don't uh, forget to build it and therefore things get delayed substantially because I don't have enough um, thatch, right? Now I should, even though there's a fair bit of walking to get up here, this should give me enough time to build all of the houses before December. That's when winter starts. So we should be okay here. Now, um, I gather that uh, since uh, the previous alpha, uh, uh, the developer has improved uh, the pathfinding and stuff, so it should behave better on larger, um, uh, larger towns, so that the pathfinding shouldn't get stuck. And it seems that he's improved it a little bit with uh, the behavior on high speed versus uh, low speed. As uh, historically, there was a marked difference in how much uh, how much difference uh, build speed was between uh, fast mode and standard speed mode. Uh, now he's still trying to squash some of those bugs. And that's going to take a while, uh, as I don't think he's figured out what the cause is exactly. But as you can see here, these guys are uh, uh, planting. Um, 
oh, this is useful. It now tells us what the monthly income is and the taxes. So uh, that's, uh, that's extremely helpful. Uh, it gives us a better, better visibility into what's uh, doing. Now, there's another thing here. There are variations in the houses now. They're not all absolutely identical. And that, uh, that'll give a little bit of variety to the town, right? Um, so we're uh, coming up on the end of April, and we have uh, the second house almost up. Yeah, it'd be early May, and the, the house will be up. Now here we have, we can fire one of the, uh, yeah, we can fire one of the foresters uh, for the moment. There we go. We've got uh, the second house up. Uh, there we go. And you see, there's some uh, variety here, and I kind of like that. Uh, and then we have uh, up there. Good. We definitely have uh, some some stuff uh, going on here. Uh, but there really isn't much to see for the moment. So I'm going to come back uh, as soon as uh, the houses have uh, built. Okay, I'm back now. Uh, the last house is just about done. And that's going to get our... Uh, last uh, family in a tent, uh, a house to live in for the winter. Now, what I've done uh, while uh, waiting for the uh, houses to build, I put some benches in along here. That gives the, uh, the uh, uh, citizens a place to rest uh, without walking all the way down to the camp here. I've also added a market stall where we're selling firewood. Uh, and that will uh, allow uh, a little less travel as well. Uh, and I've uh, set up for a water well here, uh, which will go up after the house goes up. And that, uh, that will mean they don't have to walk forever to get uh, water. Now, uh, what I uh, want to uh, look at here... Uh, we should pro we probably uh, it's probably worth uh, adding some uh, uh, additional stuff for sale in the uh, market stalls, but uh, we don't really have anything to sell other than what the uh, families are producing from their garden plots, and there's really nothing to sell there, right? Uh, because all of the families have garden plots now. Later on, I'm going to build a bunch of houses without the. Uh, yards and that will mean that uh, they'll have uh, these guys will have somewhere to sell things what they're out of water yeah well they'll get water um, right so uh, let's um, let's uh, just uh, observe the uh, the build here uh, let's speed things up just a little bit um right so we put up some thatch we've got a guy coming he puts up some more thatch and some more thatch and uh, the house is just about done right oh look there's another guy coming right and we got more thatch going up and there's another guy coming and the house is done okay now, none of our people are going to leave because they have nowhere to live in the winter. Now, what we need to do is go back in here. I had increased the number of builders by a few. Let's drop that back to uh, four, I think. And uh, we'll, keep, we'll let the forestry run with two. Uh, I think that means we have, have some, somebody unemployed. No, we don't. Okay. Um, right. Uh, okay, so uh, what we need to do now is uh, obviously the well needs to get built. Yep, the well is up. Now these people can just go there to get water, and that will be good. Um, ultimately, now what we need is uh, some storage and stuff like that. 
and uh, we'll ultimately uh, get that online. We're also going to need to uh, start farming and uh, yeah now that's going to be uh, somewhat uh, important uh, for feeding uh, people. Um, I think we'll need to start farming anyway. Uh, right. Uh, so the smithy is going up. Uh, let's just speed that up so that can get done. Then uh, once the uh, once that's up, we should be generally okay. Uh, but I'm going to also put up a uh, trading uh, uh, place fairly early on here. Uh, you know, uh, that will uh, at least give us uh, a little bit of a, uh, a um, well, I guess you could call it uh, a, a safety net where we can actually import things, right? And maybe sell some things too. Now, uh, this uh, is uh, taking a moment to build. No, uh, I, I clicked on a person. Okay. Yeah, so, so we're... Uh, we're going to get this up uh, pretty quickly here, we're just about done, and then we'll have something to do, something for the for uh, another uh, uh, worker to do. We'll, so we'll open up a vacancy there. Um, right. Uh, okay. And now winter is here, so uh, we've definitely uh, got our first initial step here uh, done. Uh, I'm not completely sure my exact plan, uh, you know, for the uh, the next bit here, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to involve at least building a trading post. So uh, that's under trade, um, trading post. Um, so if I were to put a trading post right up here, it'd be really close to the uh, entrance and exit, right? Um, now, if I put it on an angle like this, it can serve as a sort of focal point. Uh, I kind of like that idea. So, if I put it there, bam. Uh, I, oh, yes, and I need a char uh, charcoal, right. Um, production. Uh, charcoal pile, which we can put right here yeah uh, okay so right so now I I probably should have done that early on but we didn't need uh, oh yeah right and we're gonna need a carpentry right uh, see those those pop-ups are certainly helpful uh, where is it uh, carpentry now this is also going to go over here in this um, in this uh, sort of uh, industrial area. So put the carpentry there. Um, we're going to put the carpentry ahead there. Now we just about have. Uh, yeah, we're we're making charcoal, so so that's good. Um, right. So, uh, how's the the carpentry doing? We've got. Uh, we just need some nails. Can't find nails anywhere, uh, on account of the uh, charcoal hasn't finished producing, so the smithy isn't operating yet. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Um, it's missing one nail. Uh, and here we go. The uh, things are operating now. We've got nails uh, coming probably. Um... Yes, we are producing something. Uh, he's going to work. 
And now he is smithing nails. Okay, excellent. That means that we will have some actual uh, nails to finish the production of the carpentry. And uh, there we go. And uh, not enough charcoal. Oh, uh, right. If we resource supply. Well, let's uh, bring stuff by hands. There we go. Right, okay. Now, if we go in here, we're taking a rest, right. And now we have We can't find nails anywhere, of course. Uh, we need 13 nails. And uh, now we need three nails. And now we have the nails. Okay. Now we just need the carpentry to uh, finish um, constructing here. And there we go. And we're going to add a dude there. And right now. Now, if we look here, the cart carts need uh, repair. So um, right, are we uh, we're supplying resources, we're taking a rest, right. Um, resource supply we're going to allow laborers to uh to do that and we're going to allow laborers here to yeah right okay now if we look in here um We're awaiting resources. Okay. Um, okay, so what have we got here? We've got... Uh, yeah, no, no particular vacancies. Okay. And now we're up into the spring and, uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So they've got food at least for a minute. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Good. Now, um, here, yeah, and so uh, I think it's probably a resource thing. What if we add another one here and we go in the camp here and we, uh, Drop back to two builders. Uh, storage is full. Um, right. Okay.
what we're going to do is pause that. Now we'll see what uh, what goes up goes along and happens here. Um, are they going to repair the uh, the the carts? So we're going to chuck a bench in uh, right about here. No, right about here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, it's probably uh, resource uh, capacity. Uh, anyway, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cut here. Uh, it's a long enough uh, episode, and uh, next time we'll sort out, um, you know, some sort of a food situation. And, uh, uh, yeah, because uh, these guys... Uh, Uh, they have, they're, they're growing some stuff. Uh, if we get this up, we, we should be able to uh, buy something that will keep them fed for another year uh, while we get farms online. Uh, anyway, that's the, that's the plan. And if it blows up in my face, it blows up in my face, right? Anyway, uh, so I guess that's going to be all for, for this uh, episode here. Uh, I'm going to be uh, back next week with another episode of Ostriv. Uh, and tomorrow I'll be back with uh, Transport Fever, uh, Friday with the Soviet Republic, and uh, you know Monday the usual uh, Skylines, and Tuesday will be a new game uh, taking the place of NIMBY Rails. So uh, I haven't completely decided what that new game is going to be. I have an idea. Uh, I've tinkered around with it a bit. It looks like it'll work. So we'll we'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So uh, stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. I mean, uh, you know, there seems to be some sort of a light at the end of the tunnel somewhere, maybe. Uh, and of course, there's the whole like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, etc. Or not, as as you um, as you see fit. You know, it's up to you, really. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me all that much, one way or the other. So, you know, do do you do you? Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for now. So, see you back next time.